G'day and welcome to Cloud Cartographer. Ever wanted a certificate for your application on your Kubernetes cluster? Well, it turns out there is a really easy way to do that. I'm going to show you uh, Cube Cert Manager, and this was a great little project out there by Kelsey Hightower. Um, and subsequently, I've seen a lot of uh, incarnations spring up. The one I'm going to take a look at today is actually the one from the Palmstone Games Org. Uh, big shout out to them. Uh, I've been using this for a couple of weeks just to get uh, my ingress learning up to, uh, to speed. So um, I wanted to show you how easy it is to actually ask for certificates and get certificates back from Let's Encrypt. If you don't know what Let's Encrypt is, um, Let's Encrypt really is, they have a mission just to create a free automated open CA. So at the end of an API call, you can actually ask for certificates. Um, so this particular demo that I'm going to go into, I'm going to be asking for a certificate and have the domain validated um, via a plugin on Route 53 on AWS. So it's all fairly straightforward. I will send this link of how the domain validation works so you can read it at your own leisure. But let's just dive into how easy this is. Um, so what I have here is a tab. What I'm going to do is just kubectl create and I'm going to create a request for a certificate. So let's ask for this demo cert. Okay, and if we just have a look at what this did, kubectl get uh, demo certificate. And we'll have a look at this. So I've made a request for a certificate with this spec. So I've asked for demo.kubernetes.estrato.io, given it an email handle, uh, integrated the provider so it knows how to do the domain validation. That's backed by a set of keys. So you need an IAM user that has access to Route 53. And I want it to be pumped out of this secret. If I pop over to my next tab here, this is actually what was going on um, on the controller. So this is another third party resource called Certificate. And there is a service controller looking for instances of that resource and it picks them up and actions them. So when I did that kubectl create, I asked for a certificate. The controller, which kubectl get pods, so, uh, put a link to that. So I have actually a pod running out here. Um, that is, is looking for certificate resources to be um, created. And this is the logs of that. So what we have here is it's going to obtain, I already have a challenge, validation succeeded and I have a certificate. So I asked for it, remember, to be via secret. So if I do kubectl get secret of that name. So I have a secret here, let's take a look at it. Has all this data. Now, just for the for kicks here, I just wrote a very quick batch job so we can actually read that certificate and make sure it has the right information. Um, so here we go. Let's go down and I wrote a read certificate.yaml. Create. Missing create. There we go. Okay, so I've created that. kubectl get pods. And I should end up... It's completed. So... Okay, and kubectl logs. Okay, so I've asked this job just goes and reads the certificate from um, the secret. So here you can see here's the common name and the subject. Um, so this is a valid certificate from Let's Encrypt. So just to recap, all we did was roll out the uh, service controller. I actually did that prior to doing the demo. Just follow the steps, it's really easy to lay down. Um, and then I created a resource request for this certificate via that third party resource. The controller picked it up, went and asked Let's Encrypt and um, performed a validation via Route 53 and gave me a certificate back. You can then take the certificate as it's a secret and then mount it into any application container and um, and run it, for example, uh, if I was to go to, uh, let's see if we can do this, croc to 2 uh, see if I actually have something valid here. So I actually have, I've been using certificates like this all the time to, to create ingresses in front of different uh, pieces of software I'm playing with to enable secure connectivity. So 
there it is, is another great, um, great, uh, serve, sorry, third party resource controller. Um, I'd love to see more, so get out there and, and start playing with them. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers.